Goku Games. Welcome everybody, I am Sakaku. This is Archblade. Um, this is just a little game that I've seen pop up on Steam. Um, it's now available on Steam. I think it was only out in Alpha or Beta before. Um, it's pretty closed, so I've only just found out about it myself. I thought I would uh, download it since it's free to play. So if you want to look at the game after you see this video, just uh, head over to Steam, search Archblade as you can see here, and uh, you can uh, get into this game. Um, I've got this little message so I didn't click cancel, just in case if I click cancel um, it would then skip past this and I would never get back to it. And I kind of want to get reward anyway, so. Um, it says, would you like to play the tutorial? Complete the tutorial and receive reward. Okay. Happy with that. Ready, go! Okay, so as you can see, welcome to the Arcblade tutorial. The tutorial composed of Arcblade, the Archblade basics, and uh, to learn about the game. So press enter. This um, this game is um, like a, a beat 'em up game, kind of like 2D. If you think of like Street Fighter and all that kind of stuff, it's that's the inspiration for this game. However, it's um, more 3D. And so far, everything's quite smooth. It only takes a few minutes and you'll easily learn arc blade moves and get um, an achievement by completing this tutorial. You can quit the tutorial anytime by pressing escape and click disconnect. The name of this character is Velstrada Draco Imperator, aka Vale, which is so much easier to say. Anyway, the tutorial will be playing as Vale. Then, let's get started. Archblade uses WSD. Yeah, as you can see, um, it hasn't told me about the jump, but obviously I'm going to find it because it's always space. She's got like some like energized shield type thing. Looks like it. Here it looks like a proper shield, but here it looks like it's energized. Right. Press WASD to move forward. Hunts forth. Wah. Well done. Success. Hooray! Press space bar to jump. Hooray! Ha! Open the gates. God damn it. Ding ding. I'm so excited. Doo -doo -doo. Now we're gonna have to, uh, an attacking practice. Trying to kill all. Okay. Left, 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 left. That's basically what it said. One, two, three, four. So, as you can imagine, this is um, you just need to look in the direction that you want to be hitting. Um, so it's quite easy, you don't need to like lock on, I don't know if there is a lock on feature. Oh, oh, I did this ages ago. Um, there are various attacks you can do, press H to get more information about the attacks and combos. Holy frack. Left, 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 right. Left, all right. Oh crap! Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, check it! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Woo. Can I do two at one time? Oh, what? Lightning! Lightning! Oh, cross! Knock him up. Oh, oh, what the? Right, so this is uh, <laughs> quite fun. Right, so next, let's talk about armor and health. Look at the blue gauges. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the blue gauge at the bottom of the display. This is armor durability gauge. When you take damage, armor deals uh, the damage first. So, you won't die, even if this gets empty, but the more damage you take, health starts to be consumed for now. Only... Okay, only Dick's Ward <laughs> can regenerate an armor. Right, Dick's Ward, awesome. Okay, this gauge will indicate the character's health rate. You will die when this gauge is gone. 
Water one gauge. The green one, obviously. Um, some of the teammates can heal you, or you can heal yourself by retaining a health item on the map. And away we go. Oh, look. Yes. Alright, so I've got a stamina. That orange one's a stamina, as you see. It goes down when I dash around. Hello. Oh. You'll be learning about something very important in this chapter. Guarding. You can minimise damage from enemies attack by guarding yourself. Try to guard from the enemy attack in front of you by doing E. Oh, cool. Whoa. Success. Come on then. What you got? What? Love this. Right, hold on, I, I want to try some uh, space. What? Suck it. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, the other one's like flash. Uh, although it did more damage. Uh, oh, yeah. Alt. So what is the done. So it was what left? Okay. So left all wash. Dosh, dosh, dosh. Ah. Oh. So that's um, gonna be a bit tricky with the alt button. Whoops. Uh, wonderful. Yes it was. Please be aware when you're uh, you made a successful guard and it consumes stamina. If the SP lacks, your guarding breaks. I see, so it doesn't use up stamina to do this. However, you can't actually move. Okay. I did that, yep. That was me. Is that like some special thing for this character? Oh. And if you look at the bottom right, it's above the, um, or as far as I'm hitting this woman, uh, there's a little blue bar going up, and I think that's what's required to initiate your little uh, special things on the right hand side. Very nice. Anyway, let's um, oh hold on. Yep. Uh, this is SP gauge and SP skills. Archblade uses stamina points to use power attacks, special moves, special attacks and guard for veil. Her SP skill is dash. Try to attack an enemy while she's dashing. Alright. Oh, where? You can only do it with right click, it doesn't allow you to do it with left. Right, so watch. This is left, did nothing. Oh, or was it? This is... Uh, I think it does actually, you know? Oh no, god damn it, I'm pleased almost done. Oh yeah, I did the attack anyway, so that's fine. Right, so... Oh, so now that, what actually wants me to do it? Wee! Well done! Congrats! Yay! Right, so time to go through now. Every character uses the same keyboard button to activate SP skills, uh, but their skill activation timings are different practice with training mode. You're almost there! The RP gauge and RP skill. By using rage point, our heroes can use RP skills. Uh, so that's going to be that blue one. Each character has dual RP skills for Veil. She has a mantra shield. An aura of mercy. So the aura of mercy is obviously what I used. And Q is the other one, is it? No, I can't do anything. Um, Mantra shields absorb some damage for a while. Try it now. Ha! Ah, sorry, I can't. I'm gonna need to beat the crap at this wound for a little bit. Lightning! 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 Yeah. Now oh, what? I still can't use the. Um, On. I need to get enough to use that thing. See, I think one thing they might need to change in this is just um, the ability to when this quest comes in, if you don't have the uh, enough mana to do it, or RP or whatever, just uh, buff them. So you don't have to go around doing all this. I didn't see a baby hair on the 
This is it, isn't it? Ah, there you go. I've done it already. Oh, I think I'm going to yeah. Good. Practice other character RP skills in the training room later. Okay, good stuff. Let's go. Let's move on to micro control here. What? Space Alt and right click. Huh? Oh no, I'm doing the wrong button. What the hell? All right. Every character has a different power attack, but they commonly have LP power attack that creates an opponent garden, so I guess that's what I did. Finally, at the end of the tutorial, capture and hold map like Netherdale. Uh, oh, did I just jump on my head? I did, look, yeah. <laughs> Standing on the head. Awesome. Whee! Take that, bitch. Best move of the game. Woo! Right. A capture on the hold map like Netherdale need to do some capture action. Arcblade uses the control keyboard button to do that. To try to capture the pylon in a circle. Right, let's get that. So I've got to hold control to do it. Uh, so can I not? Nope. Can't use WSD, left click, right click, can't do any of that. Whoa, hello. Good work, you've now accomplished the Arcblade tutorial. See that? It's because I was pressing all this key she's doing. <laughs> For practicing, please redo the tutorial or try training room. After experiencing some of the novice room, go show your fine skills and others. Welcome to Arcblade. Going back to main menu. Yay, achievement get. Don't call me noob. Don't call me a noob. Good luck. Seventh League awards you with seven gems. Here's a little token of appreciation for finishing the tutorial. The music's pretty cool and that's pretty sick. So guys that's it today for Arc Blade. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do have more content of this game coming out uh, this week. I should have an episode coming out on Thursday and that's just going to be more about the um, network gameplay uh, that you can do against other players in this game. So don't forget to leave a like favorite and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am Sinkeku, thank you for watching and ciao for now.